Oh, we're on. Yes, live from Sweden, from cold Sweden. It's almost two o'clock in the morning and uh, I don't have a life. So why not make a tutorial? Infinite floor, here we come. It's a useful thing to know how to do. It's very simple. Um, it's basically just uh, a floor or uh, something that catch the shadow, but you still see the background. Uh, so let's uh, let's do this. We I've been kind of playing around here, so just just give it a give it a go. You can use a backdrop. You can use a just like a floor like this. Doesn't matter. It's not going to be seen. We want to have a just add a V-ray material, but also we click this again and we pick V-ray material wrapper and just keep old. Now you want to click this and this if you want to have reflection. Alpha, zero, well minus one I mean, shadows and alpha. Perfect. You can tweak this, uh, receive and generate as well if you get some like weird colors from the background. Uh, you might want to keep this uh, kind of similar to um, to the background that you want, the color of the background. <clears throat> yeah, I think we're done with that. Um, we need to have a background in the environment. I've already piped in a radial map, gradient map, I mean, that is radial. Okay, but you can pick a color, you can pick a bitmap, uh, whatever you want. It's um, just be creative, have fun. It's all about having fun, right? But this is not enough because this is going to illuminate everything, okay? Uh, so you want to do an override in the V-Ray settings here. In the V-Ray environment, just, you know, check these. They are black, so uh, nothing is going to illuminate, okay? You can pick, uh, you can have uh, some HDRI light if you want to. Uh, yeah. That's uh, that. Now let's um, add our object. Beautiful. That's art. Yes. We need a light. Rectangular. You can uh, add a softbox kind of texture to it if you wish. I'm not going to do this for this one. Kind of low numbers here. I'm not using a I'm not using V-Ray uh, physical camera or any exposure settings, so I have to kind of keep it low. Uh, we can shift control or shift drag, I mean, to have another one. Okay. Um, let's try a render, see what we get. Looking good so far, yes. Look at that. It's so pretty. So pretty. Mm -hmm. Don't you just feel like, you know, just getting your hands dirty in uh, 3ds Max doing this? You know, you should follow my... So you... Uh, so this becomes second nature. Never know when you have to whip out a infinite floor. Uh, yeah, so this is basically it. It's uh, pretty basic. Now, if you are using uh, exposure settings or uh, a V-Ray V-Ray fiscal camera, you also want to have this unchecked. Okay, otherwise. Uh, your background is not gonna look like it should, okay? 
or maybe you even have this unchecked always, I don't know. I don't know. I just know it has to be unchecked. Is there anything else? Well, <clears throat> you know, we can uh, tell the floor to not receive GI or you know, overdo it or whatever. Pretty sweet. And also generate if it's going to you know, illuminate the... If we uncheck this, it's going to be not going to be as bright, as nice. As you can see, kind of dark. Well, not that bad. Am I even using this? Yeah. Let's just uh, try this one. It's a little bit uh, brighter, as it should be. And you, of course, get an elf alpha. Uh, you might get into some trouble with the shadows, uh, since we have uh, the override in V-Ray as black. So, you know, this is going to be all black, these white uh, things. So kind of gonna look kind of ugly. It's not gonna be like this. Not exactly. At least not in Photoshop. <clears throat> yeah, but there are tricks for that. But this is how you do a infinite floor. Yes. And. Uh, we're done. Bye.